Welcome back to I Read Reading. Hey everyone. And today I well, I read chapter one today, and now I'm going to read chapter two to you guys. One, two. Chapter two. Okay, so let's get started. Doctor recommended brand that's scientifically designed to help manage your blood sugar. Okay. Live every moment, Glucerna. The voice in the air. Take a piece of chocolate. Okay, so let's just start it. This one has a pigeon with the tea. That evening, when the little poppers had been put to bed. Mr. and Mrs. Poppers settled down for a long, quiet evening. The neat living room at 432 Powered Avenue was much like all the other living rooms in Stillwater except that the walls were huge with pictures from the National Graphic Mayonnaise. Mr. Pop, Mr. Mr. Popper, Mrs. Popper picked up her mending while Miss, Mr. Popper collected his pipe, his book, and his globe. From time to time, Mrs. Popper sighed a little as she thought about the long winter ahead. Would there really be enough beans to last? She wondered. Mr. Pop, Mr. Popper was not worried. However, 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 as he put on his speckles, he was quiet, pleased at the process of a whole winter of reading, traveling books. Reading traveling books with no work to interrupt him. He set, set his little globe beside him and began to read. What are you, what are you reading? Asked Mrs. Poppers. I'm reading a book called Antarctic Adventures. It is very interesting. It tells about, it tells all. Okay, I'm just gonna say It tells, it tells all about different people who have gone to South Pole and what they have found there. Don't you ever get tired about reading the South Pole? No, I don't, of course. I would much rather go there than read about it. But reading is the next best thing. I think it must be very boring down there, said Mrs. Poppers. It sounds very dull and cold with all that ice and snow. This is even better. I do miss it. Oh no! Answered Mr. Poppers. <laughs> Don't underestimate the great indoors. You wouldn't think it was it was dull if you had gone with me to see the movies of the Drake expected on Bawaju last year. Well, I didn't. And I don't say I don't think any of us will have any money for movies now. Into Mrs. Poppers. A little short supply. She was not at all this disagreeable woman, but she sometimes got rather cross when she was worried about money. The butterfly lady. If you had, if you had gone, my love went on, Miss Mr. Poppers, Mr. Popper. You would have seen 
how beautiful the Arctic is. But I think that the nicest part of all the pigeons. What? I know I should have asked, but I didn't want you to say no. No, you should have discussed this with me. No wonder all the men ex men on that expedition such a good time playing with them. They are the funniest birds in the world. They don't fly like other birds. They walk. He cracked like little men. That's great. Do you want to come and see it too, Jill? Sure, sweetie. Come on, let's go. 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 Come on,
commanded Mr. Popper lay his ear close to the radio. There was a buzz, and suddenly from the South Pole, a faint voice floated out into the Popper's Popper living room. This is in Manticle Drake speaking. Hello, Mama. Hello, Papa. Hello, Mr. Popper. Gracious goodness! Exclaimed Mrs. Popper. Did he say Papa or Popper? If you guys haven't seen, he said both. No, I haven't. I couldn't put it down. <laughs> Hello, Miss. Hello, Mr. Popper, up there in the still water. Thanks for your nice letter about the pictures of our last expected. Watch for an answer, but not by letter, Mr. Popper said. Watch for a surprise. Signing off. Signing off. Signing off. Signing off. You wrote an animal to animal drink? Yes, I did, Mr. Mr. Popper exclaimed. I wrote and told him how funny I thought the pigeons were. Well, I have, I never said, Mr. Popper. Such and Paris, and Paris. Mr. Popper picked up a little globe and found the Antarctic. And to think he spoke to me all the way from there. And he even monitored my name. The dream has to include me. Mentioned my name. Mama! Mama, what do you suppose he means by a surprise? I haven't an idea. Answered Mrs. Poppers. But I'm going to bed. I don't want to be late for the ladies at the ministry selection meeting tomorrow. So that was all for the book, guys. Hope you guys liked it. Bye.